Quasi. You go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock! <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, Vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals! I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Aye, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. Stop. 
just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. There's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Octonauts, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Uh-oh! It's hit the octo-alert! Are you all right? 
right. Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no. The radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah! I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gut. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the Captain gets back. No, they're making more copies of themselves. <gasps> oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. <laughs> Don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk. Yeah. Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. So, who are you? Bo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, OK. So, what's your name? Bo! <laughs> Bo! Bo! <laughs> Bo! Bo! <laughs> My name is Bo. I'm a spookfish. A what? A spookfish. Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow. That is spooky, Boo. <laughs> Told ya. According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Yep, our gub won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see, and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear. Oh, OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Hey, so are you okay? Hi, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Duh. Shiver me whiskers. What manner of wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> OK, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. Careful. <gasps> Ow! Cap, look out! What happened down there? You guys all right? We're okay, Tweak. But rocks fell over the gup, and now we can't move it. 
Captain, what are we going to do? I've never seen anything like this. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Let's move slowly. We don't want to hurt any of these jellyfish. Hmm, they're too thick to drive through. They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right, we need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah, watch out for the tentacles. Don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ah, oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Hey, so, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashie will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashi. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? Uh, well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. It feels like we've been walking for hours. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. But we still don't see anything except jellyfish. Shellington should be down on the sandy sea floor, right at the bottom of this rocky cliff. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Week, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then? Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run, I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Hello out there. 
We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh, what is that? Wait for me, Captain! <gasps> A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashing. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Hmm? Hi, it's working. Hey, Sue, Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. <sighs> Thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Uh, it's caught on something. Uh, uh. Yes, that did it. 
Tu sveritis! Ah, thank you! Much better! Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice! Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker! Icebreaker activated! Not even a crack! Let's bring in the drill! Tweak will need the Gup D! All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. He's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. We're not giving up on you, Boris! Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now! Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch! Good idea, but it would take too long! Hmm. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here! We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail! You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. Simon, I 
I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> Shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. I can do it. I can't do it! I can't do it! This day is for Peso! Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso! Quasi? Are you alright, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cosy. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! One to go. Captain, I found the last float. Try to get it quickly, Quasi. Yeah. Hey, watch it, matey. Hi, who are you calling matey? The name's Trixie. I'm Triggerfish. And I'm Quasi. Pleased to meet you, Trixie. But well, that's our float, and we need it back. Oh, no, you don't. I make my home under whatever I find floating on the surface of the ocean. But I can't just leave this float out here. You don't want it littering up the ocean, do you? Oh, I've made a home out of all kinds of rubbish before now. Whatever keeps me safe from the birds up above and the big fish below. When I find a home this good, I don't give it up easily. <coughs> There's no time to argue, Trixie. You better dive down deeper where it's safe. I'm staying right here. No water spout's gonna scare me out of my own. All right, you don't have to leave your home, but I've got to move it to safety. Follow me, Trixie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sounds like he's in there with a pig. Last! Whoa! I'll save you, Trixie! Buy me whiskers, I will! It has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Oh, oh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Oh, but Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. Oh, if you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no. It's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Easy now. And down. Oh, 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 the dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the gups A, B, D and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the gup C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. is sinking into the mud. We need your help, now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> right, Peso. Let's hope that cup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Ow! Oh. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, Captain. Tunip! Tunip! Where are you, mate? 
Katie. Prancel? Tunip. Stuck a stuck a murder. Tunip, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, he must be buried in the mud. But there's a lot of mud down here. <laughs> Then we'll have to round them up. Octonauts, follow me as fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. It's working! Peso, open the Gut Ease holding tank. Got you. Okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. Now remember, when the water reaches the launch bay, Jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Suba, suba! Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo, press off! Okay, Tunip, we're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! <laughs> What is it, Freak? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Leo? They so? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to blood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch! But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Peso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. <laughs> octonauts. Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Piggy, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. 
No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been, uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they're kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted... <laughs> guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! Hey, who's waiting? 